Welcome back to another episode of GSC. Behind me is Casper, and I have a fuel leak that I haven't been able to address. It's kind of like the full length head gasket video. I still haven't had time to finish that because I've been working way too many hours and out of town and not had time to even sit down on my own laptop. So, what I'd like to do today is try to do some troubleshooting here and figure out where my leak is coming from. It's currently in the valley, so it's either the fuel bowl or it's going to be an injector line. So, I'll get this camera up here and kind of talk about what we're dealing with. Everybody's favorite truck Casper. So I did the brand new Promax cylinder heads on this over Thanksgiving and did quite a few other cleanup jobs. But down in the valley, there's a lake of fuel and I'm not really sure where it's coming from. So my goal here is to remove this upper plenum, lower plenum, get down in here and see what exactly is leaking. So I'll take you guys along for the ride here, set up a time lapse of me tearing it apart, and then we'll start to try to diagnose if it's a loose injector line, because God knows I might have forgot one, and see if it's also just a, a bottom of the fuel bowl leaking. So I'll get this camera set up and we'll see where we get. After some fiddling around, the upper and lower intakes out. Beater Max, here's my workbench for the day since the garage is full. And as you can see, my lake diesel fuel in here, and it goes all the way up to the front of the valley here. So I think what I'll do is go ahead and prime the lift pump and see if maybe it's one of my fuel bowl fittings here, front or rear check my return side but I'm really thinking it's an injector line because of how much fluids in there so I'm going to turn this key on and let the lift pump cycle these trucks are known for fuel leaks in the valley it's just part of owning a 6.5 especially if the fuel bowl goes bad and causes another number of issues the other thing is, is that I'm a goof and I took the negative grounds off because they have to come off when you do the intake manifold. So I gotta find a way to reground these and then I can start checking for my leaks. So I'll either do that or I'm just gonna start checking the tightness on these. And I'll go through and check all my hose clamps here, make sure nothing's like finger tight. This hose is looking a little rough from the, uh, the water drain. So I'll start there and start working my way around. After a little bit of grounding, one here, one here, and lift pump ground is currently on the AC bracket. So I mopped all the diesel out of the bottom here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key on. And we're gonna look at the pressure lines and see what we get. So, key's on, lift pump's on. Got nothing here. Nothing off the back side. Nothing dripping here. Return lines look okay. Well, I guess we're gonna start this thing with the intake off and see if I get fuel from the injector line. It's gonna sound kind of funny, but it is what it is. <laughs> bit of diesel coming back into the valley but I'm struggling to still see where it's coming from the hard return line here 
was not appearing to be leaking and it's starting up here towards the injector line so i think i'm gonna go ahead and bust out my rusty trusty wrench here and i'll just check all my high pressure lines and then i'll have to check my injector nuts here on the outside tighten everything up clean the valley back out and see where i get with that all eight injector lines are retightened. Nothing looked too bad, but I do have diesel coming out of my water drain up here towards the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some 5 16 and 3 8 line and just do my Feed the Beast mod from fuel filter head up here, just for sanity's sake. And I'll replace this water drain line real quick. And then we'll see what happens with it, but hopefully that cures the fuel leak here on Casper. Good news is, is that the O-ring in the bottom of the fuel bowl is not leaking. O-ring at the top's not leaking. So I just need to get this last little bit figured out, and then hopefully after that, the truck will be good to go again and no more fuel leaks. Here's our Feed the Beast line, and I mean, it's been in there for five years, it's a little dry rotted. And here's our water drain line, and honestly, underneath this here is actually very wet. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that section if I can. And I'll go ahead and replace that section of the Feed the Beast line here, and I'll have to mop all my diesel fuel back out of the valley for about the third time today, but I'll get it all cleaned out of there and then I'll start working on reassembly here put the intake manifold back in torque everything down and we'll go from there and see if it still leaks but at this point get those two rubber lines down I've got all eight injector lines torqued down so I've eliminated most of my possibilities for a potential fuel leak but it doesn't mean that <clears throat> it's this crossover here down below for the return line but that has a new section of hose on it and it really doesn't look too bad so I'm gonna go on good faith that that's still good because I replaced it less than eight months ago new lines are on nice new push lock and I made a new one for the drain so I'm gonna go ahead and get this lower intake manifold back in slowly pretty sure it's not gonna leak hypothetically all of our diesel out of the valley is cleaned up and that way I'll be able to tell if there's any fresh as I run it and drive it. Because the nice part is, is that I can peek right down between the fuel filter head and the intake and typically see fluid. So not exactly what a guy wants to see, but sometimes what you get. So we're kind of getting this back together and start it up for a drive. So I use the impact and whiz these in real quick. I'll use a torque wrench, go over them at 37 foot-pounds like they're supposed to be, and then it should be good to go. Um, I might go ahead and reground my fast the right way here, and then I'll start the truck. So I'll throw the ground on and fire it up.
say that my fuel leak is fixed, everything's primed up, I'll go ahead and put the upper intake back together on it, but now we know that the feed line and the drain were leaking a little bit into the valley, and that was where most of my fuel was coming from, so Deer 6.5 is hard starting, or smells an awful lot like diesel under the hood, you may or may not have to fish the upper intake manifold and lower off, dig yourself down inside and put some new fuel lines on, hopefully this helps some of you guys out, and Maybe in the next couple of months I'll actually get the full length head gasket video out and I'll probably be driving Casper more so more footage to come and thanks everybody. One last test fire. It's been sitting for about an hour, hour and a half since I put it all back together.